What's up guys? I know I'm a little late to this party, but I figured late is probably better than never. A few weeks ago, Bungie asked us to post clips of what's going on in the Crucible. Since then, I've saved a few clips that really are quite astounding and show what majority of Crucible matches are like these days. My hope is that sharing this video with you guys will help to persuade Bungie to seriously rethink their matchmaking right now, because playing in these conditions has made the game frustrating, and I only play Trials now because regular Crucible is much worse than these clips I'm about to show you. It's important to note that all these clips I'm about to show you, except for the last one, everybody in the lobby has a green bar connection, so it's not our internet connections that are to blame here. It's on Bungie's end. Just for kicks, I'll show you the clip in real time, and then I'll go back in slow motion to really analyze what went on. Let's get into it. First up, I have a clip from this weekend. I'm moving down the middle of the map for a strategic flank when all of a sudden I get challenged by a noble, laggy sniper. Now as you'll see here, not only can you clearly see the bullet pass through the rock, but he also dies after I do, which is really the icing on the cake to a supposed trade snipe. GG bro. Next up, we have some trials action on blind watch. Now here we have a 3 versus 2 situation thanks to an enemy player lagging out of the game. As you see here, one of the enemy players is going to try to get cute and make a cheeky little jump over the box, but I'm ready for it and absolutely send him crying home to mommy. With one guy down, we all decide to rush the last guy, only for me to get completely destroyed by the guy through a wall. Going back for a second look, you can see this guy is so good, he doesn't even have to actually see his targets before he shoots. He just shoots through the walls and gets kills like it's his everyday job. Moving on, we have some classic shotgunner teleportation. I totally have the drop on this guy, but he pulls out some crazy jukes for the all-too-familiar Invective Spray Fest. Watching skill of this magnitude is so inspiring, and I really hope to one day have these types of maneuvers at my disposal so I can completely mop up the competition. Alright, now here we see I'm moving in for the sneaky little heavy ammo snipe. I can't quite get a clean shot, so I reposition for a better one when I notice a guy to my left. But before I can even get out of my scope, he domes me through the silo. Now this guy must be friends with the Cryptarch, because just like all my visits to him, I was not happy with the events that transpired there. Just look at him, floofing around all warlocky like sickening. Ooh, look at me, I'm a warlock and I can snipe people through walls. It's finally here guys, the grand finale of my laggy experiences. No words could even describe what happened in this clip. I don't even know how we won the round, but all I can say is thanks Bungie for the gaming experience I'll be telling five years from now. I'll let the rest of the clip play out, and then I'll attempt to recount what happened. Go off? Oh, this is gonna be the worst game ever. Bro, bro. Bro, I just punched this guy twice! Bro! What is going on? Oh my god, this is gonna be oh my the worst gosh. game. Why are we all red barring? Oh my gosh, dude. This game is gonna be stupid. Oh, I'm gonna this be is actually gonna make so me upset. Oh my gosh, dude. We managed to get a kill right off the bat, so we moved up on the body to prevent the revive. And that's where it all went downhill. Watch as this guy unloads an entire clip of his auto rifle into me through a wall. I was so shocked by what happened, I barely realized the round was still going. It all seemed surreal. Does this guy have wall-piercing rounds on his Doctrine of Passing? Is that a perk you can get on your gun for 500 silver? As I got revived, I ran around looking for shelter as my entire radar was surrounded by red. I turned to my left, only to realize I had encountered a Titan who had five times the health of a normal Titan and had mastered the art of blink. I frantically meleeed him, but to no avail. Alas, he had far greater skill than I ever will. After giving up on killing the titan, I desperately tried to kill the hunter who had magically appeared in front of my face. Sheer terror came over me as I realized he wasn't taking damage. I just panic meleeed him and somehow got lucky and killed him. As my teammates pulled the victory out of seemingly thin air, I thought to myself, we're so screwed the rest of this game. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my take on the latency, as Bungie calls it. I really do hope this video doesn't get taken the wrong way. Like I stated in the beginning of this video, my intent is to get Bungie to change their matchmaking back to where it prioritized connection first. It was much more enjoyable playing Crucible that way. Thanks for tuning in everyone, hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you guys on another video.